Paths are unique in that they can be saved in the Paths panel for future use. Furthermore, paths can be utilized as outlines which guide the direction of type. The following exercise introduces users to one way that paths can be used. To create a path using the pen tool, let's create a new document first. Go to the File menu and select New. Click the preset arrow and select 5 inches by 5 inches from the list if you haven't already done so. When finished, click on the OK button. In the Tools panel, select the Pen Tool. Then, in the Options bar, click on the Paths icon. On the canvas, click once to create your first anchor point. Then click once more to create the second. Then continue to create your path by creating more anchor points. To create a curvy pathway, go to the Tools panel and right-click on the Pen tool. Then select the Convert Point tool. Using your mouse, drag any anchor point to create a curvilinear path. Continue to do this on all anchor points. You can also click on the antenna and drag it in order to reshape the curvilinear path. To type along the path, go back to the Tools panel and select the Type tool. Point to any part of the path until a squiggly line appears through the Type tool pointer. Then click once to start typing your desired text. But before we start typing, let's set the color of our type. Go to the options bar and click on the color swatch. Use the color picker dialog box to set your text color. When finished, click on the OK button. You can also change the font size by clicking on the font size drop down arrow. And for us, we're going to select the 14 point font size. When ready, type the desired text. To rotate the position of your type path, hold down the control key, hover your mouse over the corner of the I beam until a double arched arrow appears, then click and drag it in order to rotate. To change the position of your text along your path, hold down the control key once again, then hover over the stop point until a black arrow appears next to the mouse pointer. Then drag it to relocate the stop point of the text along the path. You can now add more text along the rest of the pathway. To edit your text once it's been created, click and drag to highlight the text, then make the necessary adjustments like changing the font size and font color.
click anywhere on the text to deselect and see the changes that's been made. Go ahead and practice readjusting your text by holding down the control key and using your mouse to move your text either laterally or from one side of the path to another. If you click on the background layer on the layers panel, you'll be able to see how the text will look without the path outline. 